So how did we first figure out that black holes exist? Well, the idea that a star's gravity could be so heavy that it could pull its own light back down on it was first thought about in the 1700s, but it wasn't until the early 1900s with Einstein's theory of general relativity that we had any solid physics to support this idea. While recovering from wounds in the First World War, physicist Karl Schwarzschild was working on a solution to Einstein's new equations, and his work showed that there could be cases in this new Einsteinian physics where gravity is so intense that it effectively breaks time and space. Physicists refer to these extreme cases as singularities, but at first they were nothing but a fun thought experiment among academics. However, that started to change in the 1960s with the advent of X-ray astronomy, scanning the sky using X-rays. And it turned out there were a bunch of places in space where there was a bunch of X-rays being emitted, but no visible star or anything at the source. This is when the term black hole first started being used to describe these phenomena. It was ultimately a star system called Cygnus X1, in which a star was found to be rapidly orbiting an ultra-dense invisible object that everyone knew for sure that black holes existed. <laughs>